This is SSP TV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. A popular downtown Hazelton business is moving to a new location. We'll tell you the details next. Welcome friends, I hope everything is going great. I'm Ken Kerr with your local information from SSP TV and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. The superintendent of the Hazelton Area School District tells SSP TV News that there is no truth to the latest rumors circulating. SSP TV News received an email from a concerned parent that reads, quote, As parents of students of the Hazelton High School, we are hearing rumors of a fight between students on Tuesday of this week where a student was beaten so badly that he died the next day. We parents believe we have a right to know about this incident in order to protect our kids. Why has there been no news coverage of this incident? Unquote. Superintendent Brian Uplinger tells us there is no truth to this rumor, while he did confirm that there was a fight at the high school between two students. The superintendent stressed that no one was beaten or injured and that security is handling the situation as it always does. Uplinger says that if anyone hears a rumor to either call or email his office for the correct information, and as he has done in the past, the superintendent Superintendent reminds everyone to find out the correct information, especially before posting anything on social media. A popular Hazelton landmark will soon close its original location. 85 years ago, Victoria's Candies opened its original store here at 51 North Laurel Street and now calling it Bittersweet News, owner Paul Esposito posted on social media that the Laurel Street location will close on November 16th. A new re retail location is coming soon to 29 North Conahan Drive in Hazelton. Victoria's recently opened a new manufacturing facility there just off the Greater Hazelton Chamber of Commerce Beltway. The Laurel Street location is now having Having a 50% off sale through November 16th, Victoria's has additional locations at the Laurel Mall and the Gateway Shopping Center in Edwardsville. Genevieve's Deli opened this past Saturday in the strip mall outside of the Laurel Mall, and now another new eatery will soon be serving up delicious Mexican food at the former Salad Delight location inside the Laurel Mall. We recently caught up with mall property manager Rocco Aruzo. Jay Zapata, our Buddy that has all the Mexican, I say my buddy because he calls me every day, he's getting anxious. All his equipment came in, uh, maintenance painted the place and we're getting ready. We hope to have him ready by mid-November. Like I said, all brand new equipment finally arrived actually today. So we're excited, we're going to get him going and hopefully by mid-November we are going to have some Mexican food here at the Laurel Mall. So watch for Jay Zapata opening later this month inside the Laurel Mall. The Laurel Mall is teaming up with one of its anchor stores to host a special event on Saturday. November 9th, Boss Cobbs, along with the Laurel Mall, we're sponsoring the uh, Wounded Warriors. They're going to be doing a raffle. It's going to be an all-day event. They're going to have uh, several uh, prizes. Even our tenants here at the mall donated prizes and gift certificates. And uh, it's going to be a good thing for, for all our veterans. They're going to have a lot of information for veterans. They're going to have tables and that set up. And from what I understand, they're going to have hot dogs and hamburgers and different things too. So it's going to be a good day, a nice event, a lot of information for our veterans. So come out, support them. And we ask even the veterans to come out. So if they need information, it's going to be here that Saturday. So be sure to check out this special event happening this Saturday at the Laurel Mall. One man from our area is collecting Christmas cards for a good reason. Zach Lee, seen here in this video from last year, is the organizer of the project called Holiday for Heroes. He collects Christmas cards that are then distributed to area veterans. You can help by dropping off blank or signed Christmas cards. The Christmas cards can be dropped off at ADL Tag and Notary Service, 319 West 19th Street in Hazleton. Also, Lee will be at Boyer's Food Market in Hazleton on Monday, Veterans Day, from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. You can drop off cards or stop by and sign some for local veterans. Call 570-582-9898 for more information. The deadline to donate the cards is December 17th. I had Mama's favorite salad from Booty's Place on Tuesday, and if you win this contest, I highly recommend getting it. Call us now, 570-455-7267, extension 108, to enter to win a gift card to Booty's Place in the Churchill Mall. We need your full name, phone number, and today's secret word, seafood. The winner will receive a $15 gift card to Booty's Place, quality homemade food made to order. You can only win once every 30 days on SSP TV. Time now for weather on SSP TV News. 
Now our wet forecast from the National Weather Service tonight. Rain and snow showers likely before 9 p.m. 60% chance of precipitation. We'll have a low of 25 degrees. New snow accumulation of less than a half inch is possible. For Friday, it's partly sunny with highs in the mid 30s with wind gusts as high as 28 miles per hour. Mostly clear at night with a low of 20 degrees. Mostly sunny for our Saturday with a high of 37. Cloudy at night with a low of 26. We'll hit 46 degrees on Sunday with partly sunny skies. Mostly cloudy at night low of 33 degrees for Veterans Day, mostly cloudy, high of 42. And then on Monday night, we have a 50% chance of snow after 7 p.m., mostly cloudy with a low of 27 degrees. The Marion Catholic football program has already started building for the 2020 season. The school's principal, Gene Susco, announced yesterday Stan DeCosti will be back to coach the Colts in 2020. DeCosti spent four decades at the helm of the Marion program before retiring from coaching in 2016. DeCosti stayed at the school as athletic director. He has over 300 wins over 43 years of coaching. In his 43 years of coaching, Marion decided to forfeit their final two games of the 2019 season after injuries whittled down an already short roster. DeCosti will of course try to build up the varsity squad, but will also work on the Little Colts football program as well. Dave Seaman has a full story on DeCosti coming back to coach in today's Standard Speaker. And right to the SSP TV Standard Speaker scoreboard, where you see the Wolfbury Scranton Penguins fell to the Lehigh Valley Phantoms on Wednesday. The Pens are back at home on Saturday night to play Syracuse at the Mohegan Sun Arena in Wilkesbury Township. Joe Bookman was on the front page of the Standard Speaker Sports page today for the Hazleton High School, Hazleton Area High School Powder Puff football game. See her talking about her field hockey career coming up in sports. And next, a look at Emanuel Christian School's new location in Hazleton and how they hope it helps kids and families in the city. We'll be right back. Good evening, everyone. Here's today's Talk of the Town. The Wilkes-Barre VA Medical Center will be having a Veterans Day ceremony tomorrow at 1 p.m. on the second floor of the building. For more information on the event, you can call the number on your screen. And State Representative Tara Tuhill and the Pennsylvania State Police Troop N will be hosting a Protect Yourself from Common Senior Scams event on Thursday, November 14th at the Laura Mall. Anyone that pre-registers by tomorrow will receive a free bagged lunch. And that's today's Talk of the Town. SPTV News, let the sense sincere condolences to the family and friends of these recently departed. Leonard M. Bednar of Hazleton, the Harmon Funeral Home and Drums, will announce their arrangements. Lillian Boyder of Weston, anyone with any information is asked to call the Luzerne County Coroner's Office by calling 570-825-1664. Courtney Jenkins Corrigan of Middletown, New Jersey, formerly of Hazleton, who lived to be 101 years old. Mass will be Saturday at 10.30 a.m. at St. Gabriel's Church. Fred's may call Saturday from 9.30 to 10.30 a.m. at the church. The Turnbach Funeral Home is in charge of arrangements. Mary Ann F. Eggleston of Waverly, a celebration of life, will be held Saturday at 10 a.m. at the Glamour National Golf Club in Music. The Lawrence E. Young Funeral Home in Clark Summit is in charge of arrangements. And George Show, Fran of Hollers Hill, the Frank J. Bonin Funeral Home, will announce their arrangements. Today's social obituary report is brought to you by Harmon Funeral Homes and Crematory. Call 570-788-0977 or go to harmonfuneral.com.